welcome back guys so in this video i'll be talking about some gaming news starting with some emulation news daemon switch android emulator is supposed to be releasing this month june 2022 this is the baidu page of daemon team and here you can see this post so can you see it before june 10 developers have replied by the end of june this time for sure its release date keeps on getting postponed i'm pretty sure daemon team is aware of the progress made by Skyline emulator. Skyline is a free Nintendo Switch Android emulator. Now Daemon team released the controversial Daemon PS2 emulator. That emulator was allegedly running on stolen code from PCSX2 emulator. It is possible that Daemon Switch emulator will be running on stolen code from Yuzu emulator or even AgNS emulator. AgNS is another scam Android emulator for Nintendo Switch. When it was released, GameSer X2 Type-C controller was required in order to run the emulator. Now it is running a subscription based service. Once you have paid the developers, touchscreen controls will be unlocked. You won't be required to use the gamepad in order to run the game. But this is not the only problem with AgNS. It always requires an internet connection to run. The emulator is not even available on Play Store or GitHub. Poses a big security threat. Anyways, back to Daemon Switch emulator. As of 18 June, the emulator has not been released. So I cannot comment on its performance. Daemon PS2 team is known for making tall claims. I still remember back in the day, they used to claim that 90% of PS2 games will be running at full speed on Snapdragon 660 processor. This is for Daemon PS2 emulator. That never happened. Daemon PS2 emulator had average performance. It was never properly optimized. Either SS2 emulator completely destroyed it. To make things worse, the free version of Daemon PS2 was full of ads. You had to pay the developers in order to remove the ads. So I am expecting the same from Daemon Switch emulator. Personally, I am not interested in it. And I hope Skyline emulator completely destroys it. Skyline is getting better day by day. As of now, I don't know if Daemon Switch emulator is running on any stolen code. Or whether it is a self-developed emulator. We'll get to know when it is released. Moving on to Xbox Game Pass news. During Xbox and Bethesda game showcase, we got to know about the games that will be coming to Game Pass in the year 2022 and 2023. Just to name a few titles, Naraka Blade Point, A Plague Tale Requiem, and you can see the other titles here. Persona 5 Royal confirmed to be releasing on PC. I think it will be releasing on 21st October 2022. Fallout 76 Expeditions and many more. Here you can see the release dates for some of the games. I'll give the link in the description of the video. Release date for every game is not mentioned. This is the release date for Persona 5 Royal. Yeah, I was right. 21st October 2022. And these are the games that will be available on Game Pass in 2023. Starfield, Forza Motorsport, Ark Part 2, Stalker Part 2, Persona 4 Golden, Persona 3 Portable also confirmed to be releasing on PC. Game Pass already offers an amazing value for money and it is only going to get better from here. Now guys it is possible that in the future we may see many Activision Blizzard titles available on Game Pass. Games like Call of Duty series, Diablo Part 4, Crash Bandicoot. This depends on the fact if Microsoft is able to acquire Activision Blizzard. Their deal is still underway. This month we will also be getting FIFA 22 on Game Pass. Moving on to some GeForce Now news, Genshin Impact will be leaving its limited beta stage. It will be available for all GeForce Now members. You can see the release date, June 23. I will be covering it and checking out the performance. Play Store version of this game exists, but it is very demanding guys. We all know this. With the latest updates, NVIDIA has added 120 FPS support for GeForce Now Android. But you need to have the paid membership, RTX 3080 tier. This 120 FPS mode is not available with the free tier. On their website, they have mentioned the internet speed requirements. GeForce Now requires at least 15 Mbps for streaming at 720p, 60 or 120 FPS mode. With the RTX 3080 membership, the maximum streaming resolution and FPS on Android phones is Full HD and 120FPS. They have also provided a list of devices that support the 120FPS mode. As of now, these devices are limited, as you can see.
सो इफ यू हैव द पेड मेम्बरशिप एंड योर डिवाइस सपोर्ट्स वन ट्वेंटी हर्ट से फ्रेश सेट यू कैन ट्राई स्ट्रीमिंग द गेम्स इन वन ट्वेंटी एफ पी एस सो जस्ट गो टू सेटिंग्स एन जी फोर्स नाउ देन टैप ऑन स्ट्रीम क्वालिटी मेक श्योर यू सेट द फ्रेम रेट है टू वन ट्वेंटी एज यू कैन सी ऑन माई डिवाइस रॉक फोन फाइव एस आई ओनली हैव टू सेटिंग्स थर्टी एफ पी एस सिक्सटी एफ पी एस थर्ड वन इज जस्ट ऑटो इफ यू मीट ऑल ऑफ द एन मीडिया रिक्वायरमेंट्स यू शुड बी सींग अ वन ट्वेंटी एफ पी एस मोड है एंड दिस इज द लेटेस्ट वर्जन दैट सपोर्ट द वन ट्वेंटी एफ पी एस मोड मूविंग ऑन टू हम्बल बंडल फ्रॉम दिस टो आई हैव परचेज मैनी गेम्स एट चीप प्राइसेस हम्बल बंडल इज नोन फॉर द गेम बंडल्स अवेलेबल एट अफोर्डेबल प्राइसेस इट्स नॉट अ ग्रे मार्केट साइट दे आर ऑफिशियल की सेलर्स इफ यू हैव नॉट रिडीम द की यू कैन ऑल्सो आस फॉर अ रिफंड इंडिविजुअल गेम्स आर ऑल्सो सोल्ड ऑन देयर वेबसाइट बट देयर बंडल्स रियली ऑफर एन अमेजिंग वैल्यू फॉर मनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल जस्ट चेक आउट दिस बंडल कैप कॉम समर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू बंडल इट हैज थ्री टीयर्स एज यू कैन सी है फर्स्ट वी हैव द टू आइटम बंडल If you pay वन US dollar, you can get these two games, Bionic Commando and Strider. Both are Steam keys. And then we have the सेवन item bundle. To get this bundle, you need to pay at least टेन US dollars. Previous two games will be included in this bundle. In addition to them, these games will also be available. Street Fighter Part फाइव Dragon's Dogma, Devil May Cry, Ultra Street Fighter फोर Okay this is a 50% discount coupon on Street Fighter Part 5 Champion Edition upgrade kit Then we have Strider and Bionic Commando two games from the $1 tier bundle Then we have the third tier To get the entire 11 games you need to pay at least 20 US dollars and these are the games that you will be getting Monster Hunter World Devil May Cry Part 5 Devil May Cry HD collection This is amazing. Fifty percent discount coupon on Monster Hunter Rise and the previous games available in the previous tiers. Now I'll be honest, guys. These three games are not cheap at all. Monster Hunter World, Devil May Cry Five, Devil May Cry HD Collection. These three games alone make the bundle worth its money. But it's good to see you'll be getting these extra games as well. Now I'll be honest. I would have purchased the entire bundle if I already did not own some of the games from here. Another thing to mention when buying games from Humble, you can pay a certain amount towards charity. You can also pay a custom amount as you desire. So for this video purpose, I'll be buying the one dollar tier bundle. One dollar. I'll get these games. So let me just check out. Here you can see the offer will end in. Four days, twenty-two hours. Now, guys, I am from India. I make the payment using PayPal. Just make sure you have a debit card that has international transactions enabled. You can see the other payment options here as well. Here you can see, guys, I am supporting a charity. US zero point zero five dollars of your order supports ACLU and Travel Project. Thank you. Once you have purchased any game from Humble, you can get the keys from your Humble account. Let's go to account here. Key and entitlements. From here, you can get the keys for the games that you have purchased from here. I have already claimed these games, as you can see, Desperados Part Three, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. In the end, I'll be showing you some PC games that you can grab for absolutely free. Starting with Super Land, it is available on Epic Game Store. You can see sale ends on 23rd June 2022. Do grab it before the offer expires. Then we have Ark. You can grab it for free from Steam Store, as you can see. Free to keep when you get it before 19 June 10:30 PM. Lastly, we have a DRM free game available on GOG.com. This is the game Beautiful Desolation. You can see 58 hours remaining. So do grab it before the offer expires. I'll end the video here guys I hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day